Kelly from the Energy Boutique with your energy forecast for June 2024. So on June 29th, we are going to have our very last astro event for the month and it is a big one. It is a doozy. I am talking about Mr. Saturn, the Lord of Karma himself, ruling over roles, responsibility, systems, structures, foundations, willpower, discipline. Mr. Saturn is going retrograde here at 19 degrees in Pisces energy. So let's unpack for just a second. We just came out of Gemini season. And of course, throughout Gemini season, we were overloaded with information, with options, with different variables. We had a lot of extreme choice points, decision points, pushing us into one path, one direction over the other. And as we moved into Cancer season through that solstice gateway, we locked in our new karmic chapters. As soon as we came into that Cancer energy, we were also in that full moon in Capricorn energy that Saturn ruled over, the first of a two-parter series that we will be bringing to an ending, bringing to a closure point towards the end of Cancer season when the full moon in Capricorn, the second one, pops off at a 29 critical crisis degree. This is where we are going to see the energy pivot. We've already aligned with a new path, a new decision, a new choice point, a new direction, karmically speaking. And now with Saturn going retrograde, we are about to watch the tides turn. The wheel of fortune ready to spin in a different direction. The energy gets internalized. We move inward as we really explore what needs to change within us. Of course, many of us dealing with some struggles, some tough love life lessons at this particular juncture, especially dating back to June to November of this time last year in 2023. We were kind of initiating new chapters that we were exploring with where relationships and careers and of course, you know, trajectories with different goals, different dreams, different visions were concerned. And many of those topics and themes are now falling apart. We got as far as we could get in the exploration of those particular topics and themes. And now, because our higher selves are anchored in, because we are allowing our higher self to take the lead, to take the charge, because this new version of self is definitely in power and in control of this next karmic chapter, many of us are watching things fall apart. Please be advised, nothing that you are currently quote unquote losing is a loss. It is being removed from your path because it is not of your highest good. It is not putting you on the path to reach your soul's potential. So although our egoic programming would take a good look at some of the things falling apart in our physical realms right now and would perceive that as a loss, our higher self knows better. It's a clearing, it's a purging, it's a releasing point of the karmic ties that are not supporting and encouraging us to move on to move forward. So now that Saturn's going to go retrograde from now until basically November, we are going to see a lot of these outer planets again go retrograde for the next couple of months. And they are going to start kind of popping off coming out of their retrogrades around the time that we're about to be thrown into our next eclipse season in the fall around the equinox energy. So when Saturn is retrograde, there is all of these retrograde topics and themes that come up, which means that there's a lot of reflection, there's a lot of revision, there's a lot of re-editing, there's a lot of review, there's a lot of restructuring, redesigning, realigning. And now because again, the ending, the closure is still very much unfolding for us, we are going to have the next couple of months of kind of purging, getting rid of those fragmented parts of those particular storylines. And we are going to find ourselves at another crossroad, another choice point in the fall when Saturn and company actually comes out of those retrogrades and go direct. 
So of course, Saturn has been in this Pisces energy. The Pisces energy is the last sign of the Zodiac. We are wrapping up a 30 year chapter, 30 year cycle with Saturn in this Pisces energy. But it's also about kind of stripping away the delusion, stripping away the lies, the deception, the corruption that's kind of taking place in the collective right now and in our own lives, it's time for us to kind of realize where it is that living in Delulu land is really not creating the kind of realm and reality that we want to be living in. And therefore we kind of get a little bit of a harsh reality check with Saturn, whether he's direct or not. But in a retrograde, this is kind of like us stepping back, taking a good look at the debris, at the collapse, at the destruction of our current situation and circumstance, finally finding it within ourselves through this Pisces energy to align with the higher self, to tap into the spiritual perspective, understanding that the hardships, the tough love life lessons are all a part of the spiritual lessons that we have chosen to live through here in this earth realm via the ego avatar, via this particular vessel, this human flesh suit that we are using to animate our soul and spirit and have these earthly experiences. So the Pisces energy is also a mutable energy, which means that it's time to change. It's time to pivot. It's time to change directions. And because many of us had kind of situations pop off that we technically speaking from our egoic perspective wouldn't have chosen for ourselves, now it's time for us to step back, take a lay of the land, understand what is ending, what needs a closure, what we have to come to a certain acceptance with before we can close the door on that and start integrating those lessons, that wisdom, the information, the knowledge, the perspective that now we are very much having. And so we may find that it's time to kind of make some major changes in our lives. Although the internalized energy from a retrograde is about building our inner realm up to be the change within ourselves that we wish we could have and see out in the external realm. There are so many different situations popping off right now that we wish we had more control over in our external realm. But again, we have to understand the power that we have within ourselves. If you can't change the world around you, you have to change the world within you. And so again, this is where willpower and discipline come into play. It's where determination comes into play. It's about understanding where it is that we have to build a new foundation in our inner realm of wisdom, of knowledge, of emotion, of understanding in order for us to actually continue on this brand new path of cleaning up the debris of the past and opening up new potential doors to the future. There is going to be a lot of rearranging that is needed in our physical realms and in our inner realms as well. There is a process to Saturn's retrograde, meaning that the beginning part of a retrograde is very much, again, pressurizing us to make sense of the past, to accept the terms of our circumstances as they are instead of the way that they that we wished that they would have been, that they would have turned out in. This is understanding that again, karmically speaking, we had to go through these particular struggles in order for us to meet ourselves, meet the new version of ourselves in this new circumstance. And so midpoint, so again, we are going to see Saturn be retrograde from now until November. The midpoint of this retrograde is when we reach a certain point of acceptance where we clean up the loose ends, the debris of some of the situations and circumstances that are currently falling apart. And in that particular pivot point, we start rearranging, we start kind of redesigning our realm, we start rebuilding the weaker aspects of our physical reality, and we start building towards a new path, we start building towards our future. Again, not that I want to get ahead of myself here. However, we will see these major heavy hitting planets come out of their retrograde one by one as we are thrown into our next eclipse season where we do not have control 
where the universe does sort us out and put us on the path that we failed to put ourselves on. So right now, this is like we're in cleanup mode. We have a time to reflect, to review how it is that we've gotten here, the choices that we've made, what it is that we're learning from this, what it is that we can use, again, plucking out the silver linings, to really kind of paint a different vision, a different picture of where it is that we're coming from, where it is that we're currently at, and where it is now that we desire to go. We have to boss up to new roles and responsibilities in our lives. We have to kind of really accept things the way that they are, again, and versus the way that we wish that they would be. And this is about getting down to the nitty gritty, especially in our materialistic realm of what is working, what is not, get what is not out of the way, out of the picture, so that we have some free space to start building a better realm, a better reality that is more in alignment with this new version of self, with our higher self, and of course, the mission that our soul is here to actually experience, to actually reach, to actually fulfill. So yes, it does kind of feel like a little bit of a harsh reality check when Saturn goes retrograde because there are going to be a lot of tough love life lessons popping off in our external realm that we have absolutely zero control over. And again, the whole point here is for us to move inward, to do the shadow work that is needed, to do the healing work that is needed, the alchemizing of energy that is needed in order for us to change our inner realm so that we can better accept the situations and circumstances that we have no control over out in our outer realm. And again, as some of these planets start joining these huge force energies in a retrograde, we're going to have a totally different storyline actually play out. So again, if you have not downloaded your Cancer Season e-guide, I'm definitely going to recommend you do that so that you can capture this particular energetic shift, this event, if you will. Very fitting that Saturn is going retrograde in between the two full moons in Capricorn that Saturn rules over. The first one he was direct in, the second one he will not be direct in, which means that we are going to have a major vibrational change, different mood, different attitude, a major shift in our materialistic realm around that full moon in Capricorn at the end of Cancer season that is going to bring a finality, a completion point to a lot of the tough love life lessons that we're very much still struggling through.